Welcome back. As Heather can tell you, owning a horse is a privilege and also a lot of work, which is why the Equine Health Symposium invites you to learn more about caring for them. Yes, Dr. Ann Pearson and Dr. Betsy Green are both here with us to tell us some of the details about the symposium. And it's fascinating what you can learn about it. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect. Well, this year we have brought back some new speakers and mm -hmm. um, Purina has brought on a, a speaker, Dr. Karen Davison from, um, from, from Purina and she will be speaking about equine metabolic syndrome and feeding horses with muscle diseases and old age type diseases and the rescue horse, how to bring the rescue horse back. That's okay. a new talk. Yeah, we have several. Of course, we have our speakers from Extension and the two vet clinics, Riata and Adobe. And so, like for instance, we have equine vices, and that was something that was very popular, requested to be back. We also have a demonstration on vital signs, knowing what's normal in your horse, where people can actually come into the arena, work with us to hear the heart rate, to learn how to take the pulse, respiration, and things like that. So things really cool. And, and we oh, and Dr. Conaway yeah. will be speaking about yes. the new vet school coming up, which is so exciting. Which it makes is really exciting sense to have here in Southern mm -hmm. Arizona. Well, and you know, I'm always fascinated to learn um, about what you offer. And you were talking about listening to the heartbeat because you know, unlike a dog or a cat, you can't just you know put them in a crate and then zip off to your veterinarian's office. I mean, it takes a lot. Plus, you don't have a lot of doctors, veterinarians um, like the two of you were lucky to have in Southern Arizona. So it's it's not easy. You really have to have that one on one relationship with your horse and, and look for the signs, right? Well, and this is one reason that we brought this event to. It was a Vet, an event hosted by Riata many years ago, I think until 2010. 2010. Mm -hmm. And then when I came as the new specialist four years ago, I went to the veterinary clinics and said, hey, I'm here, let's see how we can partner. And we brought this to a new life with the partnership with Extension and the veterinary clinics and some great sponsors that have been with us for the last four years to get the information to help them and sometimes prevent vet calls because we only want vent calls when we need them, not when we can prevent them. Right. Yeah, and obviously a lot of your audience are already horse owners, but can people who don't have horses come and should they come if they're considering getting a horse? Oh, absolutely. Our, our topics are directed for the youngest people who are just, you know, maybe horse enthusiasts to 4-H, young 4-Hers, FFA students, University of Arizona students, and all the way through seasoned Equine professionals, Seasoned. right? Seasoned. Yes. <laughs> you know, that some have been in the industry for 50 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we have simple, basic topics all the way to very intense, like the muscle disease topic that you're doing. Mine's going to be a little more involved. Mm -hmm. okay. We really talk about all the different diseases in the horse and the beginning on how the muscle works. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and you brought something that I've never seen before. <laughs> Hold this up so our audience can see it and, and tell us what you have there in your hand. So this is actually a freeze dried horse leg so you can see the bones. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll get a shot of it here in a moment. Okay, and this is actually related to the topic that Ann and I and Hope Martin will be doing on riding in the desert. So we'll be covering things from Horses, you know, if you have cacti and yes. issues to health, the heat, the humans and injuries and also what happens when you have an emergency on the trail. Right, that is so great because, you know, I tell people sometimes that they're these huge strong animals and yet they're infants at the same time. They're so delicate. Oh, I know. A lot of things can happen. Mm -hmm. When you mention the kids, so tell us some of the fun classes that you're offering too for the 4-H, well, you know, boys and girls. Well, we have one of our extension agents from Gila County, Renee Karstens, is doing a, like a skillathon type thing that anyone can come and test their knowledge and they'll have stations in that uh, presentation time and you know from parts to food sources to everything else and it'll be fun but it'll be an opportunity to show test your knowledge and show what some of the 4-H events and activities are. Okay. So it's interactive in a lot of ways. Though. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and really really quickly the proceeds of the symposium go for a great uh, cause. Yes. Therapeutic Riding of Tucson. Mm -hmm. And our, our group, Riata Equine Veterinary Group, has been a strong supporter of TROT for many, many years. We just feel that this is such a valuable organization. And it is good for so many people on so many levels from different abilities and needs. And we are just so happy to help. What an exciting program, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Thank Irma you. 
Yeah, but, Majestic Beast. No, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it helps. So you know, with kids as long, young as like five years old with disabilities, maybe autism, mm -hmm. to you know, people who are veterans, veterans yeah. with post-traumatic stress disorder, mm -hmm. and you offer your services to them. So thanks for being here Thank again you today. Thank you for You're having welcome. us. And you can catch the symposium taking place at the UA Campus Agricultural Center on January 25th. For more information, visit extension.arizona.edu or call 520-749-1446.